and play and spot in the dark. Tell me why you're so scared of a woman in charge. Baby, don't run. It's breaking my heart. Tell me why you're so scared of a woman in charge. And she don't want to be anybody else. She's a woman in total control of herself. It's such a wonder to be under her spell. What a woman in total control of herself. And this is the song that's running through my head. Spirit wanted me to do a very quick uh, twin flame update, a uh, twin flame emergency update. I was just getting ready. Hi guys, it's Luna. Welcome in your Oracle of Starlight. Um, I have a quick download for you, a twin flame emergency update. I was just getting ready to leave my house and I'm gonna go shopping. I'm gonna go get some Starbucks. Um, I'm kind of excited. Just to get out of the house, I hardly ever leave the house, so I'm really excited to just go out and do something. It sounds really nice. Uh, Ari and I haven't got Starbucks in a minute, so we're going to go do that. But as I was heading out the door, Spirit really wanted me to get this message out to you guys. And I was like, well, I'll do it when I get back because I have more messages I need to get out to you. But they said it's important. I need to get it out now. So this is a Twin Flame Emergency uh, reading. And uh, that's the song. The song is Witch by Devin Cole, Woman in Total Control of Herself. Come on and play. It's fun in the dark. Tell me why you're so scared of a woman in charge. Baby, don't run. You're breaking my heart. Tell me why you're so scared of a woman in charge. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they want me to take this card too. Okay. Awesome. So this is, uh, I think, uh, Divine Feminine. This is about the Divine Masculine running. That's what it seems. Uh, Divine Feminine is in her power. The Divine Feminine is um, in her goddess energy, in her um, in her regal empress energy. And it seems like the Divine Masculine is having um, trouble coming forward. So we've got this law of attraction. They just came out. You have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will be yours soon. So I want you to trust and believe that you have been manifesting this relationship, this one for you, and everything will be everything you want will be yours soon. This summer, this passion, this summer, the passion, this, the sex I'm hearing, the love, the heat, the sweat, um, the fertility. So this is what I'm hearing for summer. So this summer is going to be yours soon. Right now, um, we're doing this thing where we're healing the earth's heart. Um, and we were talking about, baby, don't run. You're breaking my heart. So I think this is the divine feminine's heart. She's, she's connected to Gaia. So the divine feminine is connected to Gaia. Look at the rose here. We've got the rose here. And she's, um, she's coming up in this ascension right now. Ascension moving into summer. Right now we're lightening with this uh, raven's head. Now I had this come out earlier and I think this would be, this is the divine masculine here. So we're going to see what's going on here. XL, I've got my book here. They want me to check it out. How are you guys doing today through this beautiful ascension? I hope you guys are doing well. There's been a lot of incoming energies and we just went through a, a portal yesterday and uh, there's more energies incoming and we're just getting new information and new realizations every day and it's super incredible. Um, I hope you guys are making sure that you're staying in the moment and grounding and cleansing the energies, um, meditating, doing all those things you need to take care of your body, drinking plenty of spring water, things like that. Okay, so that's the pearl, the grit. I thought I had the right one. Hold on a second. F-L-V-I-I. -I. Okay, there we go. Page doesn't want to come apart. Yeah, that's the page does not want to come apart, does it? The page does not want to. Okay, this is an initiation. Raven said, initiation, the ordeal, the work begins. Okay, so I think the divine masculine is going through an initiation. So while the divine feminine is connecting to the earth, I'm um, connecting to Mother Gaia and raising an ascension, the divine masculine is going through an initiation, an ordeal, and the work begins. Um, Open-ended symbols. The raven said has a precise message. It arrives at the mark of the beginning of the work. Something has occurred, known or unknown, to initiate the spinning of the alchemical wheel. With its mighty churning, things are about to change on every level. The raven's work cannot be undone, just as the pill cannot be unswallowed or the pearl turned back to sand. You may be overwhelmed or think the journey ahead is not for you. Your doubts, ma uh, your doubts matter not to the raven. As its appearance signifies, it has chosen you, so you are chosen. You are ready, and the moment is now. Can you go back the way to way the way things were? Can you pretend nothing has, has changed? I was going to say happened. Can you pretend nothing has happened? Can you pretend nothing has changed? Can you pretend nothing has happened? The raven claws a clear no. It does not apologize, as it knows your destiny is great. Your destiny is great, and you're going to this incredible partnership. 
So there's no mistakes, there's, there's no doubts, there's no fear, okay? Um, and then, yeah, I have the ravens around me all the time, so I think that's a beautiful energy to have here. So it says the raven with its trickster spirit has many symbolic interpretations as it's also linked to the hierophant card in the tarot. So it could be, uh, so be on the lookout for a new teacher or mentor. So perhaps the divine, uh, take this how it resonates, it's a gender is fluid, divine masculine, divine feminine. The divine masculine that was calling out to me uh, with this song, or the divine feminine I guess was singing. So the divine feminine is calling out. They were calling about the divine masculine who's going through something. It might be being a little tricky right now, but this is the Hierophant, um, and I believe there's a new teacher. So I think, I do feel for some of you that the, the Divine Masculine is looking up to the Divine Feminine as a teacher, as a teacher, but it could be a, a, a mutual thing. That could be a mutual thing. The ordeal, the work begins. Okay, so right now we're lightening, we're lightening the energies, and we're going to this sap of the moon planet. So we've got the summer and the sap of the moon planet com coming together. Succus Lunaire. The mystery. Let me look up that card real quick, you guys, to see what they're wanting. They're wanting me to check this one and and this one, the resin. Okay, XL. And I'm gonna get some tarot cards too before I head out to Starbucks. Just funness. Let's see. Here we go. Nocturnal sacred waters of the unconscious. Okay, so we're this is all about dreams. This is all about dreams and alchemical magic is afoot. This is the ancient waters of mis memory. So these memories are coming up right now. And I know I've been, I've just been swimming in the memories all night, you guys. I literally swimming in the memories. And I'm having really cool dreams too uh, at the same time. So I hope you guys are having that um, energy. I feel, I feel that that's what's happening right now. We're, re we're recovering a lot of memories. The ancient waters of your memory. And your, your work is to rest, restore, and awaken these celestial senses. You do this by pausing, releasing your grip, the sap of the moon planet signifies you are in a deep territory of destiny and the imagination. It is a mythic moment. The dream is waiting to show itself but awaits your sincere invitation. Ask and rest. All will be revealed. This is beautiful. And it actually says down here to go deeper, track your dreams for the next three nights. And I said I was having really cool dreams. So that might be fun for you guys. Um, they also call it the nectar, the water of life, aqua nostra. Vivium Ardens, Vin Vinum Ardens, to name a few. The dreams are the mother tongue of humanity. Dreams are the mother tongue of humanity. So pay attention to your dreams right now. You're going to this passion. You might be feeling very much passionate for this a person that you are manifesting. The law of attraction that they are being magnetized to you as you are being magnetized to them. So now we've got this resin. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, X, 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 A, B, I, I. I, I, I. <laughs> so 38. Holding, adhering, surrounding. Okay, so once you're lightening, then we want to hold in these energies. And then our thoughts are going to be thick, quick, like quicksilver as well. So this is, um, the resin is a miraculous material. It offers both stability and transparency. So that's the important thing here, Divine Masculine. Stability and transparency. Stability and transparency. Okay? Um, and that's what the Divine Feminine is saying. That's what's the, the important thing to her, stability and transparency. For centuries, sculptors and activists have used it to capture an object in time and, and place, preserving it for observation or adoration. Envision a delicate insect or flower suspended in a paperweight. Such is the alchemical energy of resin. It, its qualities are protective, sealing, and hardening. When this card appears, there is a holding that's occurring, either literally or psychically. Did my music just stop? What's going on? Siri is helping. What? What is this, you guys? Holden Mark? Interesting. So Siri just popped up some knowledge. Maybe somebody was born on October 20th or in 2017. I don't know. Maybe got a kid born in 2017 or something important could have happened in 2017. Definitely something happened important in February 2020. They've got the 17th, February 2020. And we've got 777 seven, seven here. That's pretty cool. Let me get Siri to go away so we can have our music back. Thank you, Siri. There we go. My, my frequencies. Need my frequencies. Okay. Let's see. Holding. Literally or psychically. Psychically. 
while well-intended, some of them may be limiting the one they wish to protect. There may be an aspect of nostalgia at work in the laboratory, an unwillingness to let go or to change. On the other hand, the resin card can indicate preservation of that which is most valued in return to what's been lost. Okay, so that's what I feel. This is going to be uh, resonating, pulling in the most valuable thing here. If there was something that was lost, it's going to be pulling in the thing of new value, okay? And it says worlds within whales. Look at the resin sculptor worlds within whales and ponder the bond. Okay, so this is a bond. This is a soul bond. This is a soul bond. This person is coming for you. And I think they're coming fast because they see the quicksilver here. And quicksilver always, this is mercury. This is a mercurial fluid. So there's messages and information coming in. I'm going to look at the card here real quick. And then we're going to get some tarot cards. X, X, I, B. Okay, so 24. Someone could be 24. Slippery, mobile, mercury. Part liquid and part metal. Also, somebody could have been, you know, something could have been important like the February 4th or something like that could be an important date or something around the beginning of February. Part liquid and part metal, quicksilver, also known as mercury, is a mesmerizing material. Its gift is to slip between worlds. It cannot be pinned down or easily defined. Mercury came to symbolize the god Hermes. I love Hermes, you guys, that's, that's my jam, okay. And the great hermetic secrets of alchemy, always sliding away into secrecy just beyond the alchemist's grasp. It is said that Mercury represents the transition between the physical and the unseen world. That's exactly what we're doing right now. This, we're in this transition between life and death, between science and the esoteric. It is the metal of sacred thresholds. So we're at a threshold, lovely. Shamanic practitioners of every tradition must acquire the ability to stand at the doorway between worlds. This is no small feat. The Mercury card indicates that the querent has a particular gift for such a task. This is the work of the shamans, the teachers, the sage, the artist, the alchemist. So you are a shaman, a teacher, a sage, an artist, and an alchemist, and this you were perfectly made for this task. So, so heed the call of this quicksilver. The sacred threshold requires your attendance. And this is the, pow the power of a secret. The power of a secret. So some divine masculine is holding a secret. He's not being transparent. Where's the transparent one? Transparent. He's not being transparent. So that's what's going on. Um, associated with the lungs. It's a, And I thought the breath come out earlier. A lifelong student of the breath. Yes. Um, so this has to do with the breath, the pneuma, the life, the life force within the body. We're going to get some tarot cards here. I've got these tarot of um, the divine in the spirit. If you'll let us know. What's going on with this, uh, this Earth's heart? We want to know what's going on with the Earth's heart. The King of Cups. So someone is in love with you, Divine Feminine. They were in love with this Earth's heart, this, uh, this Gaia. I'm hearing Wounded Warrior. This uh, Gaia Mother Presence. Um, it's Earth Angel. So there is, a, there is a King of Cups here. And I think he sings or he talks into a microphone. He's definitely sharing his voice. It's got dragon energy. Dragon energy. At the bottom of the deck, I've got the seven of coins. So we've got, um, so we, somebody's been manifesting this again. This is like ritual and manifestation. This one here, ritual and manifestation. You might've been manifesting abundance, manifesting partnership. They're definitely manifesting you, this king of cups. I've got underneath that like nine of wands. It's in reverse. We're going to go ahead and um, shuffle some more. Okay, so this king of cups wants this earth's heart. So what's going on with the king of cups? Yeah, the lovers, the lovers. They feel that, the lovers. The lovers. You might be seeing ravens as a sign. Someone's feeling really beat up. I've got ten of swords at the bottom of the deck here. Someone's really uh, trapped in their head. Like I feel like it's like a 3D thing because, um, because yeah, higher vibrations don't feel that way. King of coins, king of coins. Someone's got the, the money. They're moving slowly like this earth sign. We've got the turtle energy here. Turtle energy. But they're coming with a contract. Got the pine tree up here. The remnant, the remnant growing. The tree of life, the tree of life connected to source energy, surrounded by the stars. I see the starlight here, and then I see the lavender uh, for tranquility and peace. And I feel the red of the turtle moving forward is like a powerful energy of action. Even though the turtle is at a slower pace, they're moving forward with action. So and we've got a king of coins and a king of cups. There could be more than one divine masculine here. Tell me about the king of coins. Spirit. No, I think they're the King of Cups and the King of Coins. The Magician. Yeah, they're manifesting this, and you have been manifesting this love as well. So the King of Coins is a Magician. 
manifesting an energy. I've got three of wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. There could be some sort of energy that's trying to get you to not ascend. Um, just FYI, let me let me pull a card on that. Give me another card on this magician here, spirit. That could just be a message for someone in particular. Yeah, it's an Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning in love. They're manifesting this new beginning of love. They want to pour this love out to you because this is the contract. That's what I'm hearing. This is a contract. So what's going on with the Divine Masculine? Um, you know what? We're asking what's going on with the Divine Masculine. We've got lots of cards for the Divine Masculine. We're going to ask what's going on with the Divine Feminine. They're coming forward. Judgment. There was the devil energy. They're too tempted. That's it. There was, they're too tempted. Uh, they're making a judgment call and moving forward. So take this how it resonates. There is a judgment call being made. Judgment is being called. Um, I feel against devil energies to move away from them. Also, I feel, again, we were talking about this love. This devil, I feel it's, it's their passion for you, the temptation. You're too much of a temptation. They can't, they're, like, they're obsessed. It's, they're calling judgment on this and they have to move forward um, with the chariot. There has to be some sort of change. There has to be some sort of change. And let's see, can you see this over here? If I put this over here. No. Okay, well, we'll just put them here. There has to be some sort of change. Judgment. They are super attracted to you. Judgment and movement. There we go. Okay. Let's find out what's going on with the divine. Oh, you know what? I need to get a couple of these. I see letters at the bottom of the deck. There, there's going to be some incoming communication. There has to be communication. I think that's the most important thing. There has to be communication with uh, what's going on with the divine masculine. And they certainly cannot be running away. What is that? Divine feminine is not going to chase. That's ridiculous. That, the divine feminine doesn't do that. Okay, so there's letters of communication and happiness. These letters, these letters are going to bring happiness and a divine connection. So, so rest and recharge. Um, and maybe meditate, okay, right now. I think you've already purified out these energies. But there could be another um, a bit of purification. We're going to find out what's going on with the Divine Feminine. I'm actually wanting to get these bunny cards. So what's going on with the Divine Feminine spirit? She's in love. There are no more doubts. Um, this is a contract she's not holding back. There are no more illusions. She's full of love. She's got this beautiful love, this beautiful new beginning in love. Look, the coins are being brought in, these partnerships being brought to this bunny in love. What's going on again with the Divine Feminine? You have to give me a little bit more about the... Yeah, because they're getting it all together. They're going to collaborate with this community. Ten of Wands. Getting it all together. It's, it's been a it's been a hard work. It's been a lot of hard work. This ascension, it's been a lot of hard work for everyone. Give me a little more on this Ace of Cups spirit. Yeah, she's got a contract. Queen of Pentacles. Very stable. Very stable Divine Feminine. Look, I put her right on the resin. <laughs> Very stable Divine Feminine. She's got a contract and she's just waiting because she's not chasing. She's waiting. I see the butterflies. They're showing me the butterflies around her and flowers. Um, very abundant, very peaceful, very stable, nurturing, motherly, confident, grounded. Someone is feeling at a loss. Somebody's been hurting, feeling a little dejected. This could be having to do with this, um, this messages. Feeling, oh. Uh, but there's two, those two cups left. Okay, okay, so I feel, um, okay, so the devil, and I've got the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody's been tied up in their head about it. This temptation to come towards the Queen of Pentacles. Um, maybe they were bound in karmic contracts before, but I feel the fire. I've got Capricorn energy here too as well. That's what they're yelling at me, Capricorn energy. I'm also hearing Aries, though I don't, I'm not seeing it right off, but they're, they're telling me Aries. Um, and they're giving the water, um, water signs. So Pisces, I'm actually just feeling Pisces. We do have Aquarius and Cancer on the board too, though. We do have Aquarius and Cancer here too. And I'm hearing Libra. Okay, so something needed to be brought in balance. Um, I feel like they're, they're just, they were maybe, maybe tied up with other things and feeling like really at a loss for it. Um, 
temptations. I've got a King of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. We're going to shuffle a little bit more. Tell us what's going on with this Ten of Swords, uh, Double Five of Cups here. They're the King of Pentacles. Okay, so they've got the contract. You're a partner. You're a partner. They, It is a contract. Yeah, yeah, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They want to marry you. They want to give you this new beginning of love. Page of Cups. They're watching you. Um, thinking about it. Fine feminine. Oh my gosh, look what flew out. Oh my god, these are incredible. I've got the moon at the bottom of the deck, and the moon is actually in reverse. There's no more mystery about this. There's nothing else that's hidden. Um, you are the one for them. This is a star seed contract. The emperor is coming in because you are the world. So this is the emperor and the world coming together. Somebody that's on their throne. There we've got that Aries energy. They're coming forward with the chariot. They've got to come forward fast. They're, it's a movement forward. These these partners are coming together. These star seed alliance, I see the I see the little cosmic bunnies. They um Moon, moon bunnies, I'm hearing. Star bunnies. And we've got all the bunnies here. So yeah, they're, they're moving forward. They've got to. It's a contract. And, well, they don't have to. Free will, you know? But they're, they're going to. I feel that they're going to. All right, we're going to get some Spirit of the Animals Oracle card. Let me check my time here real quick. I saw 2123. And I'm hearing 333 and 222. Are important numbers here. I will need to get some um, Woodland Wardens too. Let me do that first. They wanted me to burn some Palo Santo, so I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, because there's some sort of deceit here. There is some sort of deceit. They're wanting me to burn some Palo Santo. There could be, um, there's some sort of deceit be the energies around this could be the divine masculine being deceitful oh god the divine masculine is being deceitful why divine masculine why why don't you know those are negative energies that attached to karma you don't want karma no wonder you're feeling five of cups okay we're gonna cleanse these energies right now cleanse them out I'm sending you all this healing protection, okay? And he's sending it to you right now. You have to do is accept. I'm going to cleanse these energies. This is powerful cleansing and protection for your auric field and mine. Protect these fine, fine partnerships. I'm going to cleanse myself here. What's going on, divine masculine? Why are you lying? What's up? Why? Why is that? Huh? Is it because you're scared? What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? All right. We're going to get some charms. What is going on? What is going on? Oh, okay. So I've got the little divine feminine ball. I've got a transformation that's happening, a transformation and expansion that's bringing them to peace. So there's a great transformation arising up and expansion that's bringing them to peace about this divine feminine. There we go. Let's get another Woodland Wardens. Anything else you want to say about this Divine Masculine Spirit? Dreams. So you're connected in dreams, Cayman and Poppy. You are connected in dreams. And I've got the XX here. XX. Oh my gosh, I'm hearing the XX actually. Do you like the, the XX intro song? I really freaking love that song. I don't know why that's popping up right now, but it is. Maybe somebody likes the XX or maybe somebody liked that song. Um, but this is Cayman and Poppy. And I feel it's been like a, I'm actually been, been hearing like a, like a lying in wait sort of, um, the Cayman sort of lying in wait, lying in wait for the divine feminine, uh, ready to like snatch up the poppy. They're connected in dreams, but again, they're, they've been lying in wait. I've got the elk and ash at the bottom for strength. The elk and ash, and I actually had it like this. I feel like you make them weak, divine feminine, make them feel weak. Maybe they don't like feeling weak. This is to have strength. Have strength. Yeah, because this, this was in reverse. I checked the deck and it's not. It's just this card. Okay, maybe they've been feeling too weak to tell the truth. That you are connected in dreams. That they've seen you in dreams. They know about your past lives. I think they, they know way more than they're letting on. Is what I'm feeling here.
I've got the fox and ivy for adaptability at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you were highly adaptable. Whatever comes in this situation, you're going to adapt and you're going to evolve. And this is going to work out for your best interest. We've got um, a squirrel for always prepared, an elephant for greatness. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun dis disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you what you need. We've got the elephant for greatness. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. You're going to achieve success in this, okay? Because you, because you're always prepared. I think you're, you know, you're preparing right now. I think divine feminine, you're preparing. You're like, what if this divine masculine doesn't coming through? Well, I'm just going to have to take care of myself. So that's what you're doing, divine feminine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's good to take care of yourself and make these plans for the future. And, and you got greatness and you're going to overcome. Leadership is your path. Strength, love, strength, and leadership is your path. And you can overcome any problem, any problem. You will naturally and easily su achieve success. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Maybe maybe the Divine Masculine is making a plan for the future to come in for the Divine Feminine. We've got the Hawk Messenger, or maybe it's a plan to make a message, a plan to message. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. So make sure you're eliminating any sort of distractions right now and just be taking care of yourself, seeing all the signs. But again, I saw the messenger. So I do feel the divine masculine as, as this elephant energy is working on messaging and making a message to this divine feminine because there's something that's been hidden. There's they like they know they know something and they're not telling. I feel it. I feel it really strong. I got the elk for nobility underneath that and I had to flip it over. And it was in reverse again. What the heck, y'all? Okay, so we've got the elk right there. The elk here. Elk. Stag. Stag. I'm hearing stag. That could be uh, important to you. Celebrate your accomplishments with humanity. Humanity. <laughs> we are celebrating our accomplishments with humanity, you guys. It's super incredible. I love it. But this says to help celebrate your accomplishments with humility. You are crowned with success. Powerful forces guide you. Your adaptability Oh, your adaptability is amazing. Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. And that's exactly what this is. You're going to achieve success. And then we've got the deer. I was saying the stag. We've got the deer for love here. Be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. That's beautiful. And right underneath that, we've got the sea otter for happiness. And then we've got the loon for intuitive. Oh my gosh. And penguin for authentic. But what I'm hearing is like mating for life. Dolphin for play. Bear for power, humpback whale, singer, frog, prosperity, giraffe, visionary, goose, inner knowing, and soul family coming together, sea turtle, protection, cat, independence, butterfly, rebirth, let's just keep going, partnership, puffin, that stuff, it's, that's what's coming, that's what's coming, you're guarded, you're guarded right now, so with the sea otter for happiness, you are the master, uh, be the master of playful living, release every expectations, and enjoy every day, let worry go, and instead choose love, surrender to the waves, your good destiny of love is sure, this love is coming in for you, your good destiny of love is sure, there is, there is a lover's contract for you, um, divine feminine, with the loon intuitive right underneath that, Listen to the song of your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Energies uh, emerge from energies. You have knowing energies. <laughs> Do you have a way of knowing energies? Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. So if someone is, maybe the Divine Masculine is being too busy. I feel, I don't know, Divine Feminine, are you being too busy? I'm not really feeling that. I feel like the Divine Masculine might be being a little too busy. Maybe they're busying themselves. Um, to not have to deal with this. But this it's a call to be authentic and to play. Call to be authentic and play. And stand in your power. With the penguins, they mate for life. Like the swans. Reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations and just be yourself. That's amazing. I love that. And with the dolphin for play, it says swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. That's my favorite thing. Inhale confidence, exhale fear. I like inhale love, exhale anything else that you don't want. <laughs> inhale love, exhale anything else. <laughs> Anxiety, anything, anything. Dive into your wisdom and go with the flow. 
So inhale, confidence, exhale, fear, divine masculine. Inhale, confidence, exhale, fear. Dive into your wisdom and go with the flow. Okay? Just going to be... It's going to be incredible. I'm really excited to see what happens with this bear, this singer, this prosperity, this visionary, this inner knowing, this protection, this independence, this rebirth, this partnership. And it's a guardian. I've got the white stag protector right there as well. Protection. A guardian protecting you. Dog friend. Dog friend. Wisdom. Inventor. Magic. Mystic. Oh, this is amazing. Mastery. Adventure, keeper of secrets. Yeah, they be keeping those secrets. They be keeping those secrets. Courage, assertiveness, good luck. You were an old soul. And then we've got the spawn, those divine partners for grace. Okay, so this was a beautiful message. I hope it has helped you guys um, on your beautiful uh, twin flame journey. For those of you out there on the twin flame journey, I'm sending you guys our, or divine partnerships, you know, divine partnerships, however you resonate with that. This is a, this is a higher soulmate partnership but this was definitely the the twin flame uh reading that wanted to come through for you i'm sending you guys so much light and love thank you so much for all your likes shares your subscriptions your donations you're purchasing a personal reading i'm ever so grateful for you um really honestly you guys are amazing and i'm ever so thankful because you're the ones that keep it going here <laughs> so i'm ever so grateful for you i hope you enjoyed this reading i'm sending you guys so much light and love and i can't wait to talk to you soon